action. <laughs> That's it. 3.25 amps, 65 watts at 20 volts. That's the output I want. Hmm. Simon. It's working. Really good upload speeds on the Hertfordshire Essex border. Should be meeting at Nomadic Kangu today. Magical. For a quick chat, yeah. And what's the weather like? What's that TV show like? What's up? <laughs> you alright? Oh yeah, man. You just parked the car park and someone's uh, guiding. Well, I didn't drive over a fence, did you? No, no. Publicly accessible. Yes. Oh, alright then. Hungry? Do I look? Do I look like the kind of person that has trouble putting away food? <laughs> Last time. Nomadic Kanga was at this pub was <laughs> about 10 years ago 10 maybe. years yeah. ago and in that time we've had the George Soros credit crunch we've had um, the Klaus Schwab great reset although we're still in that uh -huh, not, uh -huh, not many uh -huh. people realise it with a nice bit of medical tyranny on top thank you very much Three and um Lockdowns. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's uh, that, that's the great that's reset. Part the, yeah, yeah, part yeah, of the great yeah. reset for medical tyranny. And uh, uh. not surprising, a small business has been um, ruined. Yeah, a little bit of arty farty, and I'm walking like an African lady holding a jug of water on her head. So, Madik Kangu here. Call him Hercule Poirot. Has noticed that the beer garden is. Yeah, very Chernobyl-esque.
breaking news. You know, normally uh, people have been saying that nomadic kango is the paragon of tidiness. Well, check this out. His bed is completely covered in shite. Absolute shite. It's winter, you know, and I've been living in the forest. There's nowhere to put. Right when they have learned from you, haven't I? <laughs> oh yeah, this is, this is nice. Yeah, if you want to hit someone really hard without hurting them, that's the way to do it. <laughs> have a exclusive on Socks and Sandals channel. Yeah. So when I was editing my last video, as I was editing it, I realised that my front hubcaps come off. I didn't even realise. Bloody thing. So I've ordered myself oh, some new Swish black. <laughs> but I don't know how to put them on. I'll tell you more about it Tell them more later. It's only now, two weeks later, editing this video, I realise that perhaps Maddox Kangoo gave me a hint that he wanted me to fit his wheel trims. Oh well, I was hungry and couldn't think of anything else. And the reason we're taking this route is I thought we'd try serendipity, which is the intentional art of making good luck happen, of drawing opportunities towards you just by being aware of them. And perhaps we could find a really good pub restaurant that is open Let's see if that worked. The cuckoo at Radley seems nice and it must be good because it's busy. No parking though. No legit parking. Oh. I'd like a small glass of rosé if I may. Spring roll starter, chicken pate, apricots and chutney. So I have a venison pie with vegetables and a man at Kango is going for the classic fish cakes with lemon and tartar sauce on a bed of rocket. Never turn down the opportunity of a bog. Get when you're filming in a forest, just reduce the exposure a couple of notches and you're there. Golden hour in the autumn. Doesn't get any better than that. Oh, All dogs can smell my injured toe. That's interesting. <laughs> That's where they go for it. Yeah. Fresh meat. 
And it's here, in the forest of Essex, where we find a manic kango hiding away in s natural habitat among the fauna of the Epping Forest in southern England that forms his natural habitat. Watch how he examines the variegation on every single leaf to create the perfect shot for his YouTube channel, Nomadic Kango. A true artist, indeed. So this last we'll be seeing a nomadic kangaroo for a couple of months now. So yeah, wish him well, a good recovery, and uh, and respect his medical confidentiality. Respect. All right. Don't ask me why he's in hospital. All right. Don't ask me if he caught something off me in an unfilmed scene. Don't ask me. We use protection, so. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> now, although photography isn't necessarily part of van life, it is part of producing videos. And. Not everyone understands concepts like parallax, perspective, composition, contrast. You know what beauty is when you see it. And you can frame what is beautiful inside the frame and cut out what is not outside. Like that. See, for example, there. I, I would frame that there. <laughs> so I don't get any ugliness <laughs> in the scene. <laughs> Your light doesn't work on the right. Your light's broken. Your light's out. All right. You gotta do it soon, man. 